Hi friends, thanks for being here. My name is Kelsey and today we have a before bed yoga flow. This class is going to be short and it is designed to do at the very end of your day to help bring down your energy for your mind, for your body, to add in a little bit of feel good stretch before you enter into sleep. So go ahead and grab some cozy pajamas a cup of chamomile tea and whatever you need to feel settled and cozy and ready for bed. Ideally, this class is great to do right before you're ready to crawl into bed. You don't need any props for this class besides your yoga mat. Um, maybe grab your pet. Mine is wearing a cone. He's very sad about it. So let's go ahead and get started. Seated, cross-legged here in the middle of your mat. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. You can keep your eyes closed or open, it does not matter. We're just going to start with a little bit of movement. Leaning your body, your upper body over towards the right and slowly rolling your torso forwards and then leaning your upper body over towards the left and then allowing your back to reach towards the back of your room, around your back and find center. Doing the same thing nice and slow on the left. If you close your eyes, I find that it helps you to dive deeper into the sensations and that heightens your awareness of how your body really is feeling today. Inhale back upright to neutral spine, head stacked on top of your shoulders. With your exhale, let your head fall over towards your right shoulder, right ear towards your right shoulder. Release both of the shoulders down towards the floor. Exhale, slowly roll your chin to your chest. With an inhale, let the head roll over towards the left. And inhale, back upright to center. Reverse that nice and slow. The head falls over towards the left. Roll the chin forward. Head rotates over towards the right. And inhale back up. Release your hands from your knees and reach your hands on either side of you. Fingertips touching the mat. Walk the right fingers a few inches away. The palm finds the mat. The left arm reaches up, maybe overhead. Again, keep connection of your left sit bone to the mat. Breathe deeply. Use your inhale to come upright and left hand down to the mat. Walk it just a few inches away from your hips. Reach the right arm up, maybe right arm over your ear. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, coming back upright, hands to your thighs and just hinge forward at your hips. Find a forward fold. Let your head be heavy. On an inhale, coming upright to sit. You find an easy butterfly pose, so taking the soles of your feet to touch. It doesn't matter the how far away your heels are from your inner thighs. We want, again, once again, I'm going to say this a lot in this class, to find our sit bones, our seated forward folds. We don't want our backs to be too far arched or for our hips and our sit bones to not have connection to the mat. So adjust so you can sit up nice and tall here. And go ahead and close your eyes as we tap into the breath that we'll carry through the rest of this class. It's simple, we're going to breathe in through our nose for a count of four, three, two, one. Find a pause and exhale for a count of four, three, two, one. Find a pause. I'm starting again, breathing in, two, three, four, pause, and exhale, two, three, four, pause. Now hinge your torso, your upper body, forward, finding a forward fold.
And in your forward fold, continue the same rhythmic breath, inhaling, two, three, four, find that pause, and exhaling, two, three, four, and pause. Know that if counting is not for you, just think long inhale, pause, long exhale, pause. As you're ready, go ahead and come upright once again. You're going to swing your right leg forward. We're finding a bridge pose. So feet, find the mat, knees are bent, and roll your body down onto the mat. The back of your head is on the mat, your shoulder blades. Your hands are by your sides, palms press into the mat. As you inhale, tilt your tailbone up towards your face and roll your hips towards the sky slowly, one vertebrae at a time, rolling one shoulder and then the other underneath you. Your feet are hip distance and your knees are hip distance, not wider. And in this bridge pose, we're not forcing our hips as high as they can go. We're really trying to just release all effort that is not needed. Feel the weight straight down into your heels and the back of your head and your shoulders and release everything else. Release your face, release your glutes, release your jaw, breathe in, pause, breathe out, pause. Feel the floor in your feet, breathe in, pause, and super slow roll down one vertebrae at a time. Full breath in, take an exhale, sigh, open your mouth, breathe out. Extend your legs, both of them long, then reach your arms overhead. As you inhale, reach your fingertips and your heels in opposite directions. And as you exhale, float your hands up towards the ceiling and then down just above your thighs. Pull your chin in towards your chest, pull your belly button to your spine, and we super slowly roll upright. Again, find your sit bones and then rotate your body forward into a forward fold. Know that your knees can be nice and bent here. We, this stretch, this forward fold is about our lower back, not about forcing our hamstrings to be straight. So hinge forward until you, until you feel your body resisting and sink into that breath of inhaling, two, three, four, pause, exhale, two, three, four, pause, and again, breathing in, and breathing out, inhale, rolling yourself back upright to sit tall, we're going to bend our right knee, taking the bottom of, of your right foot to the inside of your inner left thigh, once again, find your sit bones, rotate your shoulders square to the left foot extended ahead of you and hinge forward over the just the left leg this time. You can walk your hands forward to frame the left calf muscle and breathe. Notice with this slow breath, with a little breath and a little time, your body slowly be begins to give and you can slowly move a little deeper. Inhale yourself back upright. Extend the right leg long. Bend the left knee, bottom of left foot, presses into the inner right thigh. Find the sit bones, square the shoulders. Flex in your right toe and hinge your upper body over your right leg. The crown of the head reaches forward the hips reach back, breathing in, finding your pause between your inhale 
and your exhales. In between your exhales and your inhales. And now as you're ready, coming upright once again. <clears throat> this time we're going to cross our knees, cross our ankles, and rotate over into an easy tabletop position. Your hands are on the mat, shoulders stacked over your wrists, hips stacked over your knees, feet flat on the floor. Drop your belly down, cow pose, inhale. Chest is reaching forward. Exhale, reverse the motion, pull the belly button in, shoulders for the ceiling, drop the head. One more time, cow pose, inhale. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, neutral spine. Next, moving into what's called puppy pose. Puppy pose is an intense shoulder opener, so you can walk your hands forward. Keeping your hips high, we're lowering our chest down to the floor. Know that if your chest and your forehead doesn't want to come all the way down, if that's too intense, you can pull your hands in a little closer and let your forearms come to the mat. We all want to drop our head and keep our hips reaching up high behind us. Breathe. Continue to let the hips sink back and then down, moving into an easy child's pose. If you find any tension, residual tension in your arms, you can take your arms nice and wide in a big V. Or for even more shoulder release, let your hands circle back by your heels. Releasing your arms back overhead in child's pose. Coming upright tabletop. The next pose is the most active pose of this flow and it's dolphin pose. So if you know that dolphin is not for you already or if you move into it, find you don't like it. Dolphin is, again, another intense upper body shoulder tricep opener. So this is the modification is here in child's pose. With your forehead on the mat, walking your hands in tight by your ears, taking the palms of your hands to touch, and then bending at your elbows. Again, walk the elbows in a little closer, tighter to your ears, and taking your thumbs to the base of your skull. This is an amazing tricep stretch. If you want to give dolphin a go, we lower onto our forearms. Our elbows are right underneath the shoulders. Hands rotate forward, palms on the mat. Curl the toes underneath you. Hover the knees off the mat. And then walk the right foot in a couple inches. And the left foot in just a couple inches. And we slowly begin to straighten the legs. Know that the legs do not need to straighten. The action is reach the hips up and back away from the elbows, away from the hands. So we get the same down dog shape in our legs and the same lengthening action of down dog through our spine. But I'm sure you feel the difference in your shoulders that dolphin creates as opposed to downward facing dog. Find that even breath. And with your exhale, slowly bend one knee, taking it to the mat, and the other. Hip sink back, child's pose. Again, one breath this time. And 
and rotating upright tabletop find one cow pose inhale and one cat pose exhale neutral spine pull your left knee forward rotating onto your left glute and we're just finding a straddle forward fold so straddling towards the long edge of your mat Again, we don't want to push the body into any of these postures, really allowing the breath. So notice where in straddle you need to be, where your legs need to be, so that your sit bones can be anchored to the floor. If your knees need to be bent, that's fine. If your feet need to be closer in, that's also fine. But all of us want our toes upright towards the ceiling, hips, sit bones anchored onto the mat. Inhale, grow tall through the crown of your head, roll your shoulder blades down the spine. And then exhale, maybe find a slight hinge forward. You could walk your hands forward, not forcing, finding that resistance point where your body says stop. And sink into our even breath, inhaling for the count of four. Pause, exhale for four, and pause. And maybe you find you can go a little deeper with the exhale. On your next inhale, slowly walk your hands back towards your legs and taking your body upright over your sit bones. We're going to swing the right foot up to meet the left leg. Again, readjust on your mat so we can roll onto our backs where we'll stay for the rest of the class, rolling down nice and slow. Until the back of your head finds the mat, the legs are long, the spine is long. Pull your right knee in towards your chest. Compress the right thigh into the ribs, into the torso. We find an easy twist by pulling your right leg across the body over towards the left. 90 degree bend at your knee, your right foot is flexed. If that feels good, you can reach the right arm up towards the sky. And if it still feels okay, open it the opposite direction over towards the right. Last addition is to turn your head and look right. Tap into the easy, slow breath. Allowing each exhale to sink your body and all the contact points it's making with the mat heavier into the floor. On an inhale, taking your head back to center. Pull your knee into your chest and back to center. A little hug with your knee. Flexing the right foot, we're going to make this figure four shape or reclined pigeon. Right shin bone is on top of the left thigh bone and you can interlace your hands behind your left hamstring, maybe over top of your left shin. Again, find that resistance point. You'll probably be feeling it in your right glue. Close your eyes and breathe. Release effort where effort is not needed. In your shoulders, in between your teeth, around your eyebrows, in the left leg. And go ahead and back out of the stretch. We're going to straighten both of our legs and reach them up towards the sky. Breathe in. And out. Let the right leg fall slowly with control to the mat. 
the left knee hugs in towards the chest. Use your hands to compress your left shin bone and your left thigh bone in towards your torso. Breathe in. And with an exhale, find an easy twist, pulling your right knee, your left knee over towards the right side. If that's feeling okay, reach your left arm up towards the sky and slowly open it towards the left. You can turn your head towards the left. These are all additions of opening your arm towards the left and turning your head to look left. Makes your back feel uncomfortable like it's like it's twisting too much. Just don't do that part. Breathe deeply. With your next inhale, pull your knee back to center. Giving that knee a hug, flexing the left foot, and finding figure four shape on this side. So the left shin bone is folded on top of the right thigh bone. Both feet are flexed. And find your reclined pigeon. Tapping into your slow, steady breath of inhaling for four. Pause. Exhaling for four, pause. Releasing the effort wherever you're holding it. And let the breath move through the body. Clearing out that resistance, the tightness, the unneeded energy. Blinking your eyes open and releasing out of that stretch, both feet up towards the sky. And then bend at your knees. We're taking our feet to the floor and heel toe them wide, a little bit wider than your mat. We're going to do a windshield wiper, but slow it way down. So let both knees slowly droop over towards the right side. I like to take my arms out in goal posts here. Flex both of your feet and just notice the stretch on the top. I feel it on the top of my left quad and the inside of my right inner thigh. Breathe. Inhale your knees to point up towards the sky. Feet are still wide. Little flex in both of your feet and slowly let the knees drop over towards the left. With the exhale, let the knees reach further away and down from the shoulders. With your inhale, pull the knees back up to point to the sky, feet flat on the floor. Circle your arms down in a low V. And know you can take any last posture you'd like, but if you're ready to enter into Shavasana, just let your feet slide all the way out straight. Your legs are wide, taking up a lot of real estate on the floor. Doing whatever you need to feel fully, finally settled onto the mat. Take one last big controlled breath in through your nose. And an exhale, sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Closing your eyes. Feeling the weightiness of your body into the floor. Every connection your body makes with your mat. As you fall deep into your Shavasana, you know this is where I 
will leave you be. Stay here as long as you like before entering into deep sleep off the mat. I hope you enjoyed this flow. Be well. Have a restful evening. Namaste.